And it's the big one coming up. Garcia against Morales. The rematch. There he is. That is what you call a legend. That man, let's not mince our words, that is one of the all-time great fighters, one of the all-time great Mexicans. 42 title fights, 23 world title fights at five different weights, 18 12-rounders, arguably no other living and still active boxer has had 18 12-rounders, perhaps Hopkins, and gone 12 rounds. I don't mean had them, I mean gone them. But... There was a problem with a, with a drug test. Found a drug, drug test for clenbuterol for this fight. You know what, Steve? I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. It's Garcia. It's Morales. It's why we've stayed up all night. If you Sky Plus, then you've cheated. This is what watching box in on Box Nation is all about. Let's get back over there to ringside. It'll be Barry Jones. It'll be John Rawling, and at some point, it will be that man, Jimmy Lennon. But right now, if I'm not mistaken, sounds like Danny Garcia's coming. World champion from Philadelphia, introducing Danny Swift Garcia. Danny Garcia ready to defend the title that he won against Amir Khan in such dramatic fashion. Eric Morales has already been given a huge ovation by the knowledgeable crowd. El Terrible is quite simply, as Steve Bunce has been saying, one of the outstanding boxers of the last two decades. He's been a pro now for almost 20 years. Danny Garcia, though, 24 years old, he says he's done it the hard way. He's had no easy ride, but he's undefeated in 24 fights. From the tough streets of Philadelphia. He says he was built for nights like this and that he intends to be around as a champion for a long time. The Barclays Center this huge new development in Brooklyn, a fitting venue, and tonight it is packed. 18,000 people now welcome the world light welterweight champion Danny Garcia. A rematch against Amir Khan could certainly be on the cards at some stage. Remember, he beat Eric Morales. This is a rematch. How will he look this time? Morales says he will be a different fighter. So the stage is set, and in a moment, formal introductions from Jimmy Lennon Jr. As we are ready for the WBA and WBC Light Welterweight Championship of the World. A big favourite, Danny Garcia, to win this one tonight. I've seen odds as short as 8-1 to one on. Will it be a final throw of the dice for Morales by 12 years, the older man? Similar size, Garcia slightly the taller, but the reach, nothing in it. Usual rules, the unified rules for this contest. So... The old guard, represented by Eric Morales, against the new young star, Danny Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the home of the Brooklyn Nets.
Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York for the featured bout of the evening brought to you by Golden Boy Promotions and Showtime sponsored by Corona Extra, La Cerveza Mas Fina, DeWalt Tools and their new 20 volt max brushless technology. They are guaranteed tough and AT&T, the nation's largest 4G network, AT&T Rethink Possible. This bout is sanctioned by the WBC, President Jose Suleiman, Supervisor Joe Dwyer, the WBA, President Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor George Martinez, along with the New York State Athletic Commission, the chairperson, Malvina Lathan. Introducing to you our three judges, scoring this bout from ringside, from Villa Park, California, Max DeLuca. From Albany, New York, Tom Schreck. And from Rivervale, New Jersey, Steve Weisfeld. Introducing to you our third man of the ring, the referee in charge of the action, Benji Esteves. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing in a rematch for the unified WBA, WBC, and Ring Magazine Super Lightweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, Live from Barclays Center in Brooklyn, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first, the challenger on my left, riding out of the red corner, wearing white trunks, hailing from Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. He weighed in at already 139 and one quarter pounds with a record of 52 wins, eight losses. He has 36 wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked the WBA and WBC number two contender. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the future Hall of Famer and the five-time world champion in four weight divisions, introducing Eric El Terrible Morales. And his opponent across the ring is the defending world champion on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black and white tiger stripe trunks, and hailing from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at 139 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 24 wins, no losses, 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, in his third world title bout, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated WBA and WBC super lightweight champion of the world, introducing Danny Swift Garcia. Once again, a referee in charge, now to give instructions, Benji Esteves. Okay, guys, you received your instructions prior. Recibí tus instrucciones posteriormente. I want a nice clean fight. Quiero una pelea limpia. Que gana el mejor. Good luck to both of you. Touch it up. So the two touch gloves. The talking is over. And the question is whether Eric Morales, the man who mixed it with Marco Antonio Barrera, Manny Pacquiao, Kevin Kelly, Daniel Zaragoza, the list goes on. Has he got one more great performance to give? Oh, John, would it just be phenomenal, wouldn't it? It would just be a great, great night if you could just summon up some of his great past performances and uh, put it on display tonight. We will see. Danny Garcia says that he is here and he is here to stay. He says nobody's chosen him, but he has the ability. And he took out Amir Khan, and he says that he will now, this time, stop Eric Morales. Well, to be honest, John, you could possibly see that, couldn't you? You know, he had Morales in all sorts of trouble in the 11th round in their last fight. Just being younger, you know, he's, he's more confident in this fight, you would imagine. Having already beat Morales and Javin coming off that great win off uh, Amir Khan. Morales looks a little bit fleshier than he used to do in the Halcyon days. He was out for 31 months out of the ring before coming back in March 2010. 
lost a majority points decision to Marco Maidana. But then he won the WBC belt. And then there was that defeat in March. Well, even though he is a shadow of his, of his former self, John, he's still technically very good. He just can't punch in combinations like he used to. No, he can't let him flow in the way in which he did. But the right hand, straight right hand, can still be a telling shot, and he does have a quality jab. And he can still rally, can he, John, as he did in the last fight? You know, he still has that built into his inner strength that he'll always rally back when he's been hit or hurt. Garcia, you can see, slightly the taller man. Well, Garcia needs to throw him in combinations, I think, when, when Morales throws those single jabs. A little bit like that, that was good work. Yeah, but Morales caught him with the left hand as well. They both had the success in that exchange. I remember the first Morales... Marco Antonio Barrera fight. Morales got the verdict there, but in fact, I think most people thought that probably Barrera should have got it, but it was one of the best fights you will ever see. Uh, phenomenal fight. He just caught Garcia, John, sorry, with a cracking right hand. Shook him up a little bit, to be honest. So showing flashes of his former brilliance. Interesting opening round. And you can almost sense a, a willing of this crowd to see Morales produce something special here. Oh, good right hand. Okay, and that was a punch he had success with in the last fight, if I remember rightly, John. Yep, early on he had sort of unraveled, didn't he, in the last couple of rounds, but he was very much in the fight in the early stages. And he's not had a bad opening round here, Morales. He's had a good opening round, John. Good enough to take it on my card. Here in the Garcia corner, volatile trainer is Father Angel. Listen, step to your right, keep your hands up. Listen, step to your right, he's trying to count, he comes forward at the counter. He wants to come, after you count, he wants to catch you going out. Step to your right with your right feet, Danny. Keep your hands up, okay? Keep your hands up, listen, use your jab. Use the jab. And Eric Morales, also coached by his father. There's not much you can tell Eric Morales, though, is it, John, to be honest, that he hasn't already heard or been through before. Well, he said that it was his physical conditioning which cost him in the first fight. As a cynic would say, if he's failed a drugs test, that the conditioning has been slightly <laughs> different this time. Yeah. Time will tell on that one. Could be contaminated meat, apparently. Well, let's hope so. Whatever. Morales, with his back to us now, had a decent opening round. And on Barry Jones's card, did enough to have taken it. The 36-year-old champion who he won titles at four different weights here looking to become WBA and WBC light welterweight champion Garcia the overwhelming favorite with the bookmakers well he is and I thought Garcia would have come out more confident in the first round and he was just a little bit uh maybe too much respect for Morales maybe if that's possible and again let Morales work away and not using his superior hand speed as Garcia. When I was doing that list of people he fought, I forgot to, well, I didn't forget, but I didn't mention Wayne McCulloch. I was there when he produced what was a tremendous performance beating Wayne. Wayne yeah. was good that night. He fought really well, but Morales was just exceptional. Yeah, much. I was in Detroit on the undercard of uh, Cesar Soto against Nazim Hamed. Better work from Garcia, using his hand speed there just to uh, counter over the right hand of Morales. Solid punches from Garcia. Nothing flashy about him, is there? No, and he, he never throws a straight right hand, does he, Garcia? It's always a looping punch, but it's 
it always lands. Well, it was the hooks that did for Khan. Amir, I'm sure, will be watching this one very, very closely. Nice right hand, good straight up right from Morales. Let's go. It just when you get the upper hand, he comes back, doesn't he, Morales, with a little combination of his own. And has to eat a nice little sharp jab there himself. Trying to keep a nice tight guard. Nice left-hand lead as well from Morales. It was, yeah. Um, Garcia threw a nice little combination, but he, he just stepped back, didn't he, with his hands up and straight, hands down in straight lines, and paid the price. Garcia just maybe landing the more punches in this second round. Yeah, I think so, John. Couple of decent body shots to emphasise the point. Morales tried to do the old, old pros act of uh, upping the pace in the last few seconds, but couldn't quite find the punches to catch the eye. Well, as I said, he rallies well, doesn't he? Uh, you can't, you can't, Morales you can't just never really chances. lets you steal a round. You can't take chances, OK? Please. Rinse out, rinse. Listen to me. Use the jab, man. Good jab. You hurt him, then you don't recover. Work the body a little bit. You get the chance, work the body, OK? Use the jab. Work the body when you get the chance. Slip over when it comes with the right hand. Slip over to your left. Left uppercut. Left uppercut. Dig it. Stay low. Angel Gonzalez, who won his own battle against cancer a few years back. Ex-professional fighter himself. Morales <laughs> looks totally nonplussed by the whole situation. Not phased one little bit. Well, this is this is not really the biggest stage for him, is it? He's been on much bigger platforms than this John in the past, so. Uh, a walk in the park for Morales. Well, if they've got it the same way that we have, Barry, one round apiece as we move into the third. Yeah. And even though uh, Garcia's father's a little bit animated, Johnny's uh, good advice, I think, was just a slip under that Morales right hand and saw the left hook of the body. Well, if he's going to come unstuck, Garcia, you suspect that he's going to walk into one of those right hands. If he takes a decent punch himself, doesn't he? Um, he certainly yeah, does. Yeah. Certainly took, does. Took a few good shots off uh, Amir Khan and uh, didn't blink. The big hooks of Garcia. Those are the danger shots, and those were what ultimately accounted for Eric Morales' first time around. Nice little left, sneak left uppercut from Morales, and a right hand as well, John. Mexican fans here in numbers are having some encouragement from the early exchanges. Well, Gassi is doing the right sort of thing. He's keeping Morales on the back foot, keeping his back against the ropes, but uh, not doing enough work and being countered. All the talk, of course, has always been about a a Garcia Khan rematch, isn't it? What a fight it would be if Morales were to win it. <laughs> he always said that he would retire some stage next year at very latest, Morales. Maybe if he loses this one, he might think that it could come sooner. Good body shots from Garcia, thudding body shots. But he also wants, as well, to have one last big grandstand appearance in Tijuana, his hometown. Well, he deserves it, John, but I, obviously me and everyone else, I think we'd like to see him retire and remember him as the great fighter that he was. There have been rumours that he's had uh, financial worries, which is almost uh, impossible to believe after the career he's had, although having seen... Evander Holyfield apparently go through $450 million. You sort of begin to believe that anything's possible. Phenomenal, isn't it? Good left hand from Morales. Countering those body shots from Garcia. Oh, good shot there by Garcia, John. Yeah, and the nod of acknowledgement from Morales as it landed. He knew that was quality.
further this fight goes, you'd expect it to favour the younger man, who you'd anticipate being the fresher man. Oh, oh great right hand! Terrific shot from Garcia! And Morales in big trouble with that one. That went right down to his boots. That fight, had that come earlier in the round, could have ended there and then. And he is in nowhere territory there. He doesn't know where he is. He's out, John, isn't he? He's out on his feet. He had to be helped back to the corner by his corner, man. they got to stop with John Amine's corner, please. It was a crunching right hand. It was right down the pipe, wasn't it? Let's watch it again. <laughs> oh dear, dear. And just as we said, Garcia doesn't throw a straight right hand, John. You might think about throwing a few more now. Oh, tremendous, wasn't it? Right down to his boots. He done well to stay up, mind to be fair. It's so brave as Morales. Really dipped him low, didn't it? Luckily, just leaned out of the way of the onslaught, John. I think otherwise he would have been on his backside. Now, yeah, some survival instinct there. Got out of the way of two huge anticipated follow-up blows from Garcia. It's ominous signs, though, John, early in the fight. So into the fourth round. How well has Morales recovered? Well, Garcia got to use his hands, you know, hasn't he, and really rain the punches down on him. Morales, don't give him a chance to recover. Lifting steady there, John, took a right hand on the top of the head. I'm not sure that Morales has recovered. I think he might be there to be taken right now. Every second that passes, though, the older man, the senses will clear. Doesn't look good, though, does he, John? No. Again, wobbled with a right hand, I think, there. Morales very, very wary now, as well he might be. Right hand again from Garcia. Oh, terrific shot from Garcia, left hook. Morales down and surely out. The corner man are in the ring, the fight's all over. The referee wanted to continue the count, but the corner man was straight in there. Morales' father stepped into the ring, and in the fourth round, with as good a left hook as you will ever see, ask Amir Khan about that sort of punch. Danny Garcia may well have ended the professional boxing career of one of the greats of all time, Eric Morales. That punch was just sensational. It was something else that job on He threw it from the he literally threw it from his boots. And I <laughs> it spun got, um, Morales around, didn't it? That's how hard it hit him. Just something else. Well there's something sad about seeing a once great fighter beaten by Danny Garcia in that manner. Once upon a time Morales might have been too much for Garcia, who knows? But at his best, he was never a light welterweight, he was a featherweight. And Danny Garcia said he represents the new generation and that he intended to stick around as champion for some time to come, and that's why. Unbelievable, look at that, John. He just, just fainted with the jab, didn't he? Drew the right hand of Morales and threw that left hook from his heels. And it literally spanned Morales around. But it was a nasty, horrible knockout, John, and sad thing to see from a great fighter. Yeah, once upon a time, Eric Morales was one of the very best. But he was in against a man here who was too young, too fresh, too big, and who had just too much power. Yeah, too much, wasn't it? It's what, it's what Garcia's father was asking him for, one that to slip underneath the right, the right cross. But he didn't throw the left hook to the body, John. He came over the top with on the chin and the force of the punch look at that similar shot that the knocked out Amir Khan wasn't it well maybe I was getting the referee wrong had he stopped it right there or was he wanting to make the call I'm not sure either way the fight was quite clearly all over right there no way no way Morales was going to get up after that and it's quite upsetting you've got to be happy for Danny Garcia it's a good win
That's a tremendous win to stop even even at the fit the faded version of Morales to, to stop him like that. It's still a tremendous feat, but it's still sad to see such a great warrior go out the way he did, John. It's going to take a top fighter to beat him, though. I tell you what, John, he, he's, he doesn't look anything special, does he? No, he's not flashy, nothing like that. He does the basics very well. Here's confirmation. 23 seconds in round number four. Our referee in charge, Benji Esteves, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout. Still undefeated and still the WBA, WBC and Ring Magazine super lightweight champion of the world, Danny Swift Garcia. We saved the best for last for you tonight on Box Nation. We came on air at one, we're still on. We've seen four major fights, world titles at stake, world championship belts at stake, legacies, reputations at stake. Perhaps we've seen the end of the great Mexican Eric Morales, El Terrible, they used to call him. That was his 24th and I hope final world championship fight. He has nothing left to prove, absolutely no reason for Eric Morales to get back in the ring. He's 36 going on 50. He's been in some of the most All memorable right, modern right, fights. Right, Let's hear now though Danny, from the winner, still champion, Danny Garcia. Thank you. First of all, um, I want to thank God. I want to thank my dad, you know, for guiding me through life. My mom, my little sisters, my brother, all my family, all, all the people who've been there for me. Al Heyman, he really helped me, man. He, uh, he gave me this opportunity. Um, Golden Boy, and um, most of all, all the fans in Brooklyn who came out to super support me, baby. I appreciate ya. Danny, let me ask you about your performance this evening. And, and Eric, did you feel as though you were hitting a stationary target? You connected on nine of your 13 power punches, and he seemed flat-footed. Did, seem, did it seem to you as though he was an easy target tonight? Um, no, he's a crafty veteran. Uh, he made with a couple good shots, but um, I bounced back. Um, I noticed from the first fight, um, I showed him too much respect. I was letting him back me up. And I was just trying to counter in the end. He was catching me at the end of all the shots. So this fight, I went to press the action behind my jab and set my big, big punches up. Was there any doubt in your mind after you had won the first fight and he wanted this rematch that it wouldn't be the same result? Um, I thought, you know, honestly, I thought I was going to go 12 rounds because he's a warrior. Why? I mean, you see the first fight, <laughs> we, went, we went at it. Uh, he's a warrior. He knows how to take a good punch. But um, we trained hard, man. I'm happy the result came early. How Wait, much? What round, what round was that? That was the fifth round, and we're going to take a look at it right now, know. if we my can, on our monitor. People, if we can show us it. the punch right here, tell us what's going on. Boom! Another kind. Another kind. Right there. Um, that 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 um that left hook, I get that from my mom. All her all her all her side of her family is left-handed, so that's my genetics right there. That left hand. Thank you, mom. <laughs> you now put yourself in a circumstance of Matisse. Maybe Amir Khan, a rematch. Uh, possibilities out there. Josecito Lopez, if he, he was to come back to 140, what would you like to do? Man, I want to fight. You, you know me. I never ducked anybody. I fought Khan when nobody, when everybody doubted me. I fight the best, man. That's why I'm in here. I got all the belts. I know they want them. You want them, you got to come get them, baby. It ain't going to come easy, though. Danny, how much? You're undefeated, but how much has your confidence level changed now that you've beaten Morales twice in that Amir Khan fight? Is, are you a different guy, a different fighter? I'm becoming more mature as a man, you know, just as a man in life, uh, getting these uh, tough fights and stuff like that. I'm more mature as a man. I think it's helped me in the ring a lot. And you seem quite annoyed yesterday at the weigh-in. Were you annoyed with the test that they had come back positive and you said something to him? What was it that you said to him at the weigh-in because you were very animated? Uh, do you want me to say what I really said? <laughs> Keep it a family program. You're going over the over the microphone here in the stadium and I, across the air. I said I was going to beep you up. Beep. <laughs> and indeed you did. Congratulations tonight. Dave. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Terrific fight. All right. Let's go back to Barry. So that was Danny Garcia there in a fantastic mood. Understandably in a good yes. mood. Steve, I mean, we can all be geniuses after the event. And there was all the, act, the trials and tribulations. And Eric Morales had a long career. Still a stunning finish. Magnificent finish. I mean, for a couple of rounds there, he looked ordinary, and I'm sitting here thinking, how did he can't lose? And then he just turns it around. End of the third round was really effectively ended the fight. 
He badly hurt him then. He was gone when he got back to the corner. He came out, his legs were still stiff. But the finishing shot, he seemed to spin 180 degrees and come back. It was a, it was you know what, there was a point there in the first, first couple of rounds when he just looked like he was floating. And his father even, no, not panicked, that's the wrong word, but his, his dad was sort of trying to urge him to pick up, which he did in the third when he stepped through. And as, and as Barry said, it was one of those classic curses to the commentator where you say he's not throwing any right hand. That's the third round. And he, 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 I'm sure he was saved by the bell then. You can see he's trying to get his legs together. Oh, yeah, he was saved by the bell. He was gone. He looked like he was walking back to the wrong corner, and then he's called on... In fact, comes... he, he, he can't, when, if he goes back there, not only are his legs stiff, but it's like his head's locked in position. Yeah. It was, um, he, he has no idea where he is now. Let's see this. Big straight right. Bang. Oh. You know, the one thing at WC this happening to him, such a, a great fighter who's been in so... Some many memorable fights. He makes you realise it's a young man's sport, Steve. It, it'd have been better off going down there properly instead of just taking that fearsome, fearsome end of Eric Morales. Well, we thought that might have been the end in that particular round. But, of course, that was only the third round. Because the fourth round for Danny Garcia, he kind of, kind of likes that round. And then we lead up to what happened in the fourth round. Like, and he was looking for it from the start, yeah. wasn't he, Steve-O? He likes the third and the fourth round, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it, it, it's amazing. It's almost spun 180 degrees and come oh. back. It was it was a brutal, brutal knockout. And it was a, it was horrible to see Morales go down like that. You know, you know what? He was looking for that shot. That wasn't an accidental shot. He knew that Morales left himself slightly open when he threw the right hand. And he just came, he found, he found the gap, found the space. Look, there it is. He sees the gap there. The minute that, the, 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 what was so impressive, the, the very second that right hand dropped two, three inches, he whipped in that, 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 that now, left. Now, listen, Garcia last year, I remember sitting and watching a fight of his, okay, and, and you know, he's, a, you know, the Kendall Holt fight, the Nate Campbell fight, perfectly good fights, yeah. don't get me wrong. But it seems to me that this kid's transformed. It's a case of good wins making you a better mm. fighter. It's good. Well, well that, when you saw that, you know, wins making you better and confidence, mm -hmm. maybe it's confidence issues. Look at the calm fight, the way he turned that around. After that, you believe you can walk for anybody the way he turned well, that fight around. After the go after the calm fight and after the Morales fight, I mean, I'm not. I mean, if I'm if I've got if I'm in charge of any light welterweight in the world, I'm not getting letting them anywhere yeah. near DG. But the other thing with it. He's paid his apprenticeship. You know, he was he was matched hard for in fights two years ago, having hard fights with Ashley Fear fame. I know. Hey, it might not sound on Steve, no, carry on, you know, on, on the you know the world scale, but it's not Ashley Fear fame giving you ten hard rounds. He's not saying uh, the kids you know, that, 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 right. that educates you for right, coming Steve, up this level. And now he's going to be in great fights. You know, I'd like to see him fight if he goes like what well, Medina. That'd be a good one and stand in front of them and knock each other out. Now you know what? I know it's late, but we're still going to turn it around. We're still going to go and listen to Morales just in case he announces his retirement. This is what Eric Morales had to say when he got some of his senses back. Estoy bien. Quiero agradecer a toda la gente de su apoyo durante muchos años. Creo que hoy me preparé muy bien. No hay una excusa para decir que, que esta pelea no podía ganarla. You're saying that, um, first of all, he wants to thank the crowd today. And second of all, he was prepared today uh, to win this fight, but he couldn't do it. It seemed as though... It, 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 <laughs> Quiero agradecerle a toda la gente. Quiero decirles que fue mi última pelea en los Estados Unidos. Muchas gracias por su apoyo y su cariño durante muchos años. He wants to thank the crowd for all the support throughout the years, and this is his last fight in the United States. You will not fight in the United States again. Will you fight outside of the country again? Will you go back and fight a final fight in Mexico? ¿Tiene pelea en México? I want to say bye bye in, in Tijuana, México. In Tijuana, México, he will fight. Yeah. About the fight here tonight, you seemed as though you were stationary and flat-footed. That's what Al Bernstein felt, and, and Austin Trout was commenting on the fight. Why couldn't you get movement in the ring tonight? I didn't see the movement that we usually see, Eric, that was a little bit tired in the ring. I don't know, I don't know. In reality, I worked very well. I did a strong preparation. I felt good, I felt strong. I connected good shots. Pero uh, el tiempo pasa, el tiempo pasa y hay que reconocer que simplemente ya, ya, ya no tengo nada que hacer aquí en el boxeo.
he says that uh, time passes by and that he's he came to fight and he was ready and he did have one good blow but you know it's early signs that it's over thank you for all the thrills great trilogies with Manny Pacquiao and Pereira and you've been a great fighter thank you very much muchas gracias a toda la gente muchas gracias los quiero mucho thank you thank you I love you a lot all right you know, I, I don't know about you. Now, I don't want to be critical of our American cousins, but the guy's doing an interview. The guy says, that's it. I'm never going to fight in America again. I want one more fight uh, down in Mexico. I want to say bye-bye, you know, in Juarez. And then the guy asks him a question about, uh, about not being able to get his punches off. Had he not listened to the guy saying, I'm finished with boxing. I'm having one more fight to, quotes, unquote, say bye-bye. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got it. Sometimes you just got to listen. I'm oh, sorry, Steve. Yeah, That's no, just you're right. You're ridiculous. Right, but... Eric Morales is a great fighter. Danny Garcia, I like him a yeah, lot. I, I like think him. He's a really dangerous He's getting kid. better and better. He's, he's going to be involved in really, really good fights. And, hey, I'd love to see Amir Khan beat him in a return for the sake of British boxing. But I wouldn't let Amir Khan anyway near, near that kid right now. Because well, Danny... he's on fire. That's Danny Garcia. Talk me through the Malinaji fight. Go on, 10 seconds of, 10 Malinaji... seconds of fight. Hung on for dear life, nearly threw it away in the end. He is going to go straight into a Hatton fight before he gets beat. Took me through, them, took me through the, the stink at the top of the night. Devin Alexander against Randall Bailey. The winner to fight Kel Brook in theory. Randall Bailey, absolute, God, absolutely appalling. Sing. Threw about four or five right hands all night. Landed with two, two in the fifth, one in the upper cut. That summed up his performance. Now, now tell me, took me through the fantastic fight. Your Cameroonian buddy from France. Oh, what a fight that was against brilliant. Peter Quillen. The cho kid chocolate, the Cuban sensation. Took me through that fight, Steve. Six knockdowns. Five with left hands, one with right hand. Brilliant fight. Sounds like he's a landslide winner. In rounds, I, I thought Unjam won the fight, but the decision right because of the knockdowns. Great, great fight. And Quillen's going to be in some good fights as well. Now, now tell me how you've got that big coffee stain on your shirt. You've got 10 seconds. These posh Let's coffee cups, they give us back.